by their own admission, an independent Scotland would be using the currency of a foreign country with no influence over its economic policy. For at least 10 years, we would be outside both the UK and the EU single markets. Is that not the case, that the Scottish Government's plans for independence would repeat the mistakes of Liz Truss's economic plans rather than learn those lessons? Cabinet Secretary. I, I could just simply answer the question by saying no. But I would go on to make the point that I have made in this chamber a number of times before. It is not a Liberal nor is it a Democratic position to block Democratic votes on the constitutional future of a country. I understand that the Liberal Democrats in Scotland would prefer power to be exercised over Scotland's future at Westminster. I understand that. We have a different view on that. Can we not be agreed as Democrats that when the public elects a parliament, on a manifesto commitment that there should be a referendum as Democrats, at least we should agree that a referendum should take place. Then we can have the substantive uh, debate and discussion about the different policy questions. I would, uh, even at this late stage, appeal to the Liberal Democrats to re-examine their liberalism and their belief in democracy, because at the present time there's not much of it on show.